Hello everyone, here we are back again for another Promax Platform Workflow Tip. In today's video, we're going to look at how we isolate content with platform spaces. Now there is an age-old problem haunting local storage, server-based storage, and shared storage solutions, and that is storage creep. Maybe a backup or two. Copied some things over to reorganize it, but you didn't want to lose anything or you just put something there temporarily. But we can all remember a time when no matter how much storage space we had, it wasn't enough and went quicker than we thought. And that's not even counting the day-to-day -day file transfers, rendering, and other editing tasks required in a production environment. Let's look at a college lab for a digital media professor. Talk about hard to isolate content and control storage space. Looking at this from a typical shared storage solution, or even just a server space, you have four classes, each class has 20 to 25 students. On the server, there would be directories for every student, and like in many of the classes I've taken, your content is available for everyone to look at, to copy, or delete. The professor has a size limit on the overall storage, but no easy way to manage and easily monitor the space used by each of the students. This is where Platform Spaces offers a complete solution to this storage conundrum. We'll just start with the roster for each class and log in as admin to the easy-to-use platform web interface on a Mac or PC. You can add the students as an existing user because they're already part of the domain. And now you create the platform space referencing the department abbreviation and the student ID. 25 gigabytes is plenty of space for this type of media, but it can be expanded at any time. Next, we'll go into the Permissions section to give the user read and modify privileges to the platform space. And now, to double check our handiwork, we'll log out as admin and log back in as the student user. We mount the platform space and you see it appear on the desktop instantly. We'll minimize the web UI, get info on the volume, then go ahead and open it. Everything looks good. As we get further into the semester, things start to fill up, and our student has used 23 of the 25 allotted gigabytes. So the attempted file copy fails because there isn't enough space available. To summarize, we've imported a Windows domain account, and using the class abbreviation and student ID, created a platform space just for that user. And that sums it up on how we isolate content with platform spaces. Thanks for joining us.